two trips I went on, I did an unpacked with me video to show you what I took, what I used, and what I wish I had left home. And I do plan to do another one of those for this trip, but I got so many requests to unpack my toiletries. You wanted to see what I took with me on these trips, and apparently overpacking your toiletries is a big problem. And so I'm here to show you what I take on my trips because I take the same things pretty much every time and um, how I pack them <laughs> and uh, it's not as fancy or as glamorous as you think it is. <laughs> um, so here we go. If you're new here, I'm April at Stunning Style and I help classic women develop their own personal classic style with my Stunning Style wardrobe guides. They come out seasonally. They're curated capsule collections with 30 plus pieces, all the shopping links you need, and 100 outfit combinations. I have a free quiz that can help you uh, determine your classic style twist, as well as a 10 day free trial of all three color palettes. I have bold pure hues, light bright tints, and rich warm shades. So you get to choose the color palette that suits you best and it makes curating your own wardrobe and getting dressed absolutely the easiest thing you do all day and don't we all need that you can find all the links to those things in the information box down below so let's get started um, well let's talk about what i put my items in i'm kind of going through a maybe a shift i'm about to try this out for you what i have been using <laughs> is, you might laugh but I have this this bag and this bag that I use for my toiletries. Um, I love the colors. This is one of my favorite color combinations and this turquoise is my, blue is just my favorite color. However, <laughs> you're gonna ask me where I got them. I, <laughs> they're from Quilted Northern, the, the toilet paper company. It was like a, you know, a promotional item from the toilet paper company and I actually bought them from someone in a buy sell trade group but they're so pretty but they're not fancy like anyway um, it's lined with the signature Q logo quilted northern so it's waterproof on the inside which is really good so if anything does spill or come loose in here um, it will not leak out into my other items which is good especially if you're carrying anything that's uh, greasier in texture which I do um, but this is getting uh, if I don't pack it just right it's a little too small so I just bought something new it's a little more sleek and sophisticated. And it's this one. Um, it's by MZ Wallace, which is a fantastic brand of um, bags and, and accessories. Um, they're very similar in size and shape, but this one has the wide bottom and this one doesn't really, it's, it's flat and goes straight down. So as, we discuss these items i'm going to pack them into this new one and if it all fits comfortably i'll keep it and if it doesn't i'll take it back what i really wanted was a cosmetics bag in this exact style but i only need a cosmetics bag that's like this um i don't need a cosmetics bag this big that that's overwhelming to me that's too much um, so anyway, we're going to see if it works, but I, I do love this. It's really pretty. I love the shiny. I love the quilting. I love the black. Um, the inside is not waterproof. It's just kind of got that silky lining. So, but the exterior might be, but still it'd be harder to clean up if you had a nasty spill. All right, here we go. Let's talk about skincare first. I keep all my skincare in here um, because the containers are small and um, I just like having them all together because when I want to wash my face and clean up, I don't want to dig through there to find these things. So the, f the first thing that I use most of my trips is I take facial wipes. Um, 
you can use whatever brand you love. I do use these Rodan and Fields ones because they remove my lip scents really well. And I need that because I don't want to carry more things to do that with. Um, so this is kind of an all-in-one for me. At home, I wash my face. There's a like a mask scrub that I really like and use. And then I remove my lip scents with some other things. Anyway, I don't want to take all that with me on a trip for a few days. And that's just more liquids to have to deal with. So I just use these makeup remover wipes. It removes everything. And so I just use those. The next thing I take is, okay, this is going to tell you something else kind of weird that I do. Um, I use these little jars. You might recognize them from your room service tray. These hold jams and jellies. Uh, the Bo Mama <laughs> brand is this particular one. And another one that I use, this one I believe had mayonnaise in it. So um, I swipe these from our room service trays. I actually think I swiped these from the breakfast table at uh, on our trip to Mexico last year because this one's a little bigger than this one and I needed something a little bigger for a few of my things. Anyway, I like them. They're easy to open and I haven't had any leaks with these yet, but um, if you're concerned about potential leaks with these, I do sometimes put these in little Ziploc bags to just give myself an added layer of insurance, but so far I haven't had any leaks. Anyway, this has um, a facial scrub that I really like to use, and since I use it two or three times a week, at first I wasn't taking it with me, but now I do um, because I really do start to notice the lack of exfoliation and how rough my skin gets. So I, I've started taking this with me when I travel. The next items that I uh, item that I carry is another jam jar and this has coconut oil in it. I use coconut oil to remove my eye makeup every day. It I have there's nothing out there I've ever found that removes eye makeup as well as coconut oil and on top of that it's natural doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it and um, it just dissolves makeup, even waterproof mascara on the occasion that I use it. Um, it's also great as a personal lubricant. Um, you can also use it to remove your makeup, like your whole makeup if you're familiar with oil cleansing and in the past if I've forgotten to bring something to remove my makeup with, I'll just remove my whole face of makeup with this. The next thing I take with me is a toner. And um, I think most of you know I, I use Rodan and Fields. I sell it a little bit on the side. Um, and they had a special last year where you could get a, these cute little travel pack and they're refillable. I don't know if this one is. I could probably wing it. Um, and so this is just my, my toner in this little container that they provided. Um, and I take cotton pads to use it. And then I have my AM and PM moisturizers marked appropriately so in these cute little things. And I've taken these on a two week trip and they were big enough. They hold 0.24 fluid ounces. And this AM one also acts as my sunscreen for my face and my neck and my chest. And I really like that um, it has an SPF 30 in it. And so I get that SPF every day without the sticky sunscreen feel. I do take a separate sunscreen for my arms and legs and like the large portions of my body. And then I also take a lip balm. And this one is by The Naked Bee. I talked about these in a monthly favorites video. This is the pomegranate and honey flavor. It's, it doesn't have a strong flavor and I, I like that. I don't like strong things in the in what I put on my face. So we're gonna load all those back in and then the last thing, uh, there, there was a time when I never took lotion or moisturizer with me because hotels always provide it 
but I've just become a moisturizer snob and um, these last couple of trips I realized how much I dislike hotel moisturizers. They just sit on top of your skin kind of like a film um, and I don't like it and so I <laughs> waited until I had used down one of my regular size moisturizers because it is it only holds uh, one fluid ounce which is well within the carry-on regulations I filled it up with the hydrating body cream that I love so much it's also a Rodan and Fields product I hope this doesn't sound like a Rodan and Fields commercial but this is just really what I use um, I've just come to really love this and I've considered talking about it in a favorites video so you might see that in a future video so those are all of my skincare items and they all fit in here except for the wipes. Next let's talk about hair. I take a few things for my hair. Um, I take a dry shampoo. These come in travel sizes. Um, most brands do. The one I happen to have in my hand is the dark is the Divine Dark Brown Tinted Dry Shampoo by Batiste. I also have it in the plane. I also have a travel size of another brand that I like. This just happens to be the one in my bag right now. I leave my toiletry bag packed. I don't unpack it. These are all things that I I don't unpack for my when I come home that makes it really easy to pack and it makes it really easy to unpack because I don't have to I do check the levels of what is in there and make sure I don't need to refill another thing I take for my hair is um, I take one or the other of these I either take another mayonnaise jar <laughs> this one has hair paste in it or I take this one and this is big. This is the travel size of this y'all. It's only 2.8 ounces so you can still carry this on but that's big and so I don't always take it. It depends on where I'm going. This is the Paul Mitchell flexible style spray wax and this hair paste is also a Paul Mitchell product but it's a men's hair paste and it smells like musky. That's not my favorite smell, so I kind of go back and forth depending on what I use. Um, I take a travel toothpaste, which is whatever they have at Walgreens or Target or wherever I'm going. If you forget this, this is something you can get from the front desk at the hotel quite easily. I always take a shower cap. I collect shower caps from hotels around the world. I always bring home as many shower caps as I can. I just, I have two gallon size Ziploc bags full of shower caps and I can tell you where I got each one. That's ridiculous. But I use them at home. I use them in the shower. Um, I'll use them to cover bowls in my refrigerator. Bowls that don't have lids. I'll use them to cover the bowl that I'm raising my bread dough in. They're super handy and when my husband traveled a lot for his job he would always bring me home shower caps and I would get so excited. Anyway, um, most hotels have reached the point where they don't automatically put shower caps in your room. Even the really nice hotels you often have to ask for them and so I do bring one with me just in case because I usually don't realize it until I am getting in the shower and I don't want to wait. 20 to 30 minutes for housekeeping to bring me one but I still ask for them because I have to replace the one I just used you know so I'd always take a shower cap I take um, a travel electric toothbrush I used to travel with my good electric toothbrush because I just I love it I love how much cleaner my teeth feel but then I lost it on a trip and that is an expensive item to replace um, I think I left it in a hotel room or something because it was gone. So this is an Oral-B one. It's got a tiny little battery in it and you turn it on, turn it off. It is not anywhere near as good as a real power toothbrush, but it's better than a plain one. And then I just have this little snap-on cap that I got, I think, at Walgreens in a two-pack to keep it clean. Um, 
I don't like putting them in Ziploc bags because you seal it off and then the moisture because it's not dry and it stinks and I don't like that. So this keeps it clean but lets it dry out at the same time. I always carry tampons and a few panty liners with me because I just never know when it's going to happen and I don't, I have been caught unaware um, and I'm always sorry. So I do carry those with me. I carry a razor. If you forget your razor, it's another thing you can get from the front desk of the hotel, but it's the cheapest, cheapest kind that will most definitely leave you with razor burn. I've used them in a pinch, but I like the kind that I use. This is a Gillette Venus. Um, and so I have two of them. One I keep in my toiletries bag and one in my shower. And so I'm, I'm always prepared with this. And then I take deodorant. I have tried the travel size deodorant and I gave up on them. And now I just take my full size one because the deodorant stick part is so shallow that as soon as you raise it up enough to use it, one swipe under your arm and the deodorant goes flying out of the container. And it's just, I haven't found one that works well for me. So I just take my full size one. I also take a travel size flat iron and it has a case that it came with. It was, I want to say $30 at Ulta. And it's also the same one that I use every day with short hair. Just the mini size is so much easier to straighten my hair with. I have naturally curly hair and um, I really have to straighten my hair. Or I end up looking like Clark Kent or Bozo because it just flips anyway. So, um, I, I also take my flat iron. I tried to not travel with it a few times and it's not good. It's not good. So I do, I do take that with me. So let's load up this new toiletries bag and see how it does. We'll go for the biggest versions of everything. So I'm going to take my full pack of face wipes. I'm going to take the full size of the spray wax in my full size deodorant, my toothbrush, my razor, two tampons, my toothpaste, and a dry shampoo, my, my flat iron, and my shower cap. And I think that's everything. That's everything that would go in my other one. And it really does fit nicely. It's not bulging anywhere and there is still room to spare in there. I could definitely save a lot of space by taking out that spray wax because, oh my gosh, that is big. And I could just take the paste instead. This bag, I want to say it was $55 and I will link it down below. Um, and now I'm going to answer a question I know you have before you ask it. What about the stuff I'm not taking? Well, top of the list would be shampoo and conditioner. I love the shampoo and conditioner that I use. I love, love, love them. I, to this date, I don't bother to take them with me. I just use whatever the hotel has and I've been fine with that. Um, I feel like the other things matter more. The other really big item I never ever take with me is my hair dryer. If you have really thick, really long hair, then I think hair dryer quality can matter a lot as to how quickly you can dry your hair and that can make a big difference in your day. But I have short hair and I don't have really thick hair and so it it might make a difference of a minute or two. And so whatever the hotel has is fine with me. One other item that you may have noticed is missing from my bag is a hairbrush. I just use my husband's hairbrush <laughs> so I don't have to pack it. Um, I don't, because my hair is shorter right now, I'm not round brushing it. Um, I'm not doing anything 
with like layering and drying. I'm really just using a brush and directing it as I blow dry. It doesn't make a big difference for a trip which hairbrush I use. At home, I'm very particular about the brush I use, but my husband has a travel size hairbrush and we just share that one. When I travel without my husband, I do pack a hairbrush and I do pack a travel size brush. This is the brush that I use at home. I talked about this in one of my favorites videos. This is the travel size brush that my husband takes with him. It's by Conair. And then I have, I can't find it, I'm sorry. One of my girls, they take off with my brushes. It makes me nuts. But I have one that's about this big. Um, and that's the one that I take with me when I travel without my husband and I can't use his brush, but it is smaller than this one. I have one more thing that I will add to the toiletries category and that is supplements. I take specific supplements in the morning with my breakfast, in the evening with my dinner, and then at bedtime. And it's much easier for me if I sort these and bag them up in advance. And so I have a bag for each meal and then I put each bag for the day in a bag. So in this Ziploc bag, I have three bags. A breakfast with a B label on it, a dinner one with a D label on it, and a nighttime one with an N on it. And then I just take all three bags and I put them in one bag. It's really convenient and I just grab one for the day and go. If you are not able to keep a pre-packed toiletry bag, then in those years before I did that, I keep a list of exactly what toiletries I need to pack. I actually keep a list of everything I need to pack for the whole family for any trip, like a generic list. And then I have specific lists. Like if we're going to the lake, I need these extra things. If we're going to the beach, I need these extra things. And that really helps me make sure that I have everything we need. When you're packing for eight people, it can get really overwhelming. Even packing for yourself can get overwhelming. And those lists have saved me from forgetting really, really important things. So if you're not um, going to keep a pre-packed toiletry bag, then that list can make packing your toiletries really quick and easy. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you soon.